In this problem, we're going to do an op-amp problem using superposition. Superposition in this problem is going to be figuring out what V out is by taking one voltage source at a time and seeing how much that voltage source contributes to the output. Um, and we do that by shorting out all the other sources. I'll show you how that works. So first we're going to find out how much the 9 volt source contributes to V out. We short out all the voltage sources and what happens here is since we're shorting out this uh, 6 volt source this ground becomes this node right here because it's the same voltage as this plus side which is the same voltage as the negative side and this is all one big node which is going to be 0 volts and since this node is 0 volts we have 0 volts for the 30k 20, 30, and 40k resistors that's 0 volts and 0 volts uh, 0 volts across the resistor so those resistors don't have any current flowing through them and we can just ignore them uh, which leaves us with this 9 volt source, this 10k resistor, 100k resistor, and V out. Um, this is effectively an inverting op amp circuit. So we can just say negative R2 over R1 times V in. Uh, we can just plug that in and find out how much volt voltage uh, is contributed. So we have negative 100k over 10k times 9, that equals negative 90 volts. Now we're going to find out how much the 10 volt source contributes to V out, so we short out everything else. Once again, these resistors go away as well. And it's, once again, inverting op amp case. And that's going to be negative 50 volts from the 10 volt resistor or uh, voltage source. Uh, now it's time for the 12 volt source. Uh, same formula as before, except this time our polarity is flipped. We have negative here and positive there, which means it contributes negative 12 volts and that's going to be 40 um, and now for for the 6 volt source um, unlike before so before we would have 0 volts across resistors because we had 0 volts at this node I'll highlight this node again uh, and the ground node but this time this node is 6 volts which means we do have a voltage drop across the resistors. So we can take this circuit, and this is the equivalent circuit right here after superposition, uh, which means we'll have to combine all four of these resistors in parallel. We can do this by using this formula and we'll find out the total resistance is going to equal 4,800 ohms and this is also uh, a non-inverting op-amp circuit if you look at it more closely that means we can use this formula V out equals R2 over R1 plus 1 times V in uh, so we have 6 volts in times 100k over 4800 plus 1 and that's going to equal 131 volts. Uh, so now we can go back and add up all the, the voltages from all the different voltage sources. So that's negative 90 volts, negative 50, positive 40, positive 131 we'll add all those up right here, so negative 90, negative 50, 40, 131, we add those together, we get 31 volts, and that's our answer for V out.